Right, I haven't done a big on video in a while. Right, on the lathe I have a piece of tiger wood that's 16 and a half by 3. Now what I gotta think of here is the width of the blank compared to the height to co compared to the height of it. There's a big difference. Um so I gotta design around that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course round it off. So start the lead, step back out of the way. Right, just round it off. Here we go, round it off. This is quite a pretty piece of tiger, actually. There's a couple of features in it that I hope come through, and the grain seems to be pretty nicely balanced in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, uh, I'm going to be using a mortise on it. Because as I normally do on dry tiger wood, I use mortises because it's rock solid. My mark is marked. Now I also want a slight foot on this. <coughs> it's one of the ways you can trick the eye. Uh, with a wide skinny piece is to put a foot in it and raise it slightly. You don't want a huge one, but you also don't want it too small. Um, you want to kind of fill the eye with a shadow underneath the bowl. Right, so roughly, if you're doing a foot, on a wide bowl, roughly a third. So roughly rules of third, two, three. So about there. Right, so that's the foot. Now, as you can see, the way up that marked, that base is not exactly flat. But that can be sorted out very easily. The first thing I'm gonna do is Put in the two of these. So they don't lose my marks. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but it's still lashing around here. Which is why, yet again, I can't do this to the saw video. Now, it's a quick one across to level everything off. I just didn't want to lose those marks. Otherwise, I'm gonna, it's just here. I want to make sure it's level. Right. Yeah. Right. That out. Very, very slightly low.
Dovetail in for the jaws. something that's this wide any discrepancy you have in here is going to be exaggerated out on the edge so you really got to be careful to get this right start shaping this basically the same start as normal which is at the start let's drop that which is knock this corner off Swap out my uh, safety glasses for the mask because it's uh, <coughs> kind of hit me in the face. Right, then, got the full mask on now. Now, what I want to do is bring that in to the to the foot, so we can know what I'm doing. See what I'm, well, so we can see what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is, the shape I'm going to do is, is going to be, the main cover is going to be here. But I'm going to come out almost flat and then come up. It's another trick for a big blank that isn't very high. And you keep as much volume on the inside of the bowl as you can. <coughs> Sorry, I have a slight cold, so I may keep coughing. very dusty I'm gonna to have to put a mask on <coughs> so excuse me for a sec while I put this mask on all right then that's a bit better I may sound a bit muffled but uh, sometimes you get tiger wood and it's just really dusty which is what this piece is Now what I'm going to try and do is bring a very slight curve from there out. 
When I say very slight, I mean very slight. Use a pull cut to do it, so I can get in. Right. Sometimes with these big blanks, your main thing is to trick the eye. Yeah, this is like cool thing there. Now this is why I continue that cold sharper to go up to the top. I haven't done my finish cut. Anybody seen me turn balls knows that with this stage that I get a rough shape and then I finish. I don't worry about cuts quality until I'm doing my finish cut. There, that curve is off. I'm just trying to make the curve land in. Right, now I have my rough shape. I'll give this gouge and a sharpen, and then we go to the tool marks and refine the shape. So, I'll be back in a sec. Right then. Now, I need to refine that shape a little layer. The pull does not smack down. Look, we start in here in the middle and work our way out. So that uh, I can work on the shape. Now, this time I'm going to use a side bevel cut on this. But the first thing I want to do. Is blend that foot in. Put a slight chamfer on the foot from there to there, just very slight. Just so it sits on the rim of the foot.
Okay, that'll do it. So it's pretty sleep. Now we'll just continue my way around. I don't know if it's smelled there now, but it's still tail marks there. I'm doing my way around, taking out the tail marks and I'm finding this shape. Is the reason I don't teach a slide double click on video. Because it's really easy to get a catch with. Big cut, but uh, I said it's really easy to get a catch with. Just there. I'm not happy with that curve. Just there. It's only sleep. That's an idiot. I could sand it out, but I'd prefer to do it with the girls. Yeah, that's right. All right, then. <coughs> All right, then. We sand and finish that. And we'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm thinking of putting a new section into videos. And uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. I was surprised of where to put it in. And seeing as how I use Yorkshire grit on everything, uh, I'll do it here. Uh, and it's going to be like a question and answer session. If you have a question, and that I can answer it without doing a video on it, which I have no problem doing if somebody asks me a question but I can only answer on a video. I'll do it in this section of each video. We call it the Yorkshire Grid question and answer section. Right. Now, I get asked a lot of questions and I get contacted a lot by turners who are coming over to Ireland. Right. And seeing as how all the restrictions are ending, right going for that. Right. Just to start it off, I thought I'd do just kind of a tongue in cheek for the crack. Uh thing about what to do and what not to do when you come to Ireland. Right. You start off with what I just said. For the crack has nothing to do with drugs. It means for fun. For the fun of it. So if somebody says to you, and you're out, and somebody says to you, do you want to go for a bit of crack? He's not inviting you to do drugs. He's inviting you to come out and have a bit of fun. Right? Number two. The F-bomb. 
shall we call it, because I'm not allowed to say that. I'm not allowed to say the word on YouTube. Right? Uh, it doesn't mean as much here as it does in other places. It's just part of the language. So you might hear it a lot. It's not actually somebody trying to start a fight or insulting anybody. It's just it's basically accepted part of the language now. Right. Yeah, another one. And this is kind of Dublin specific. Right. If somebody says to you, if you ask somebody to do something and they say, Oh will yeah, that means they're not gonna do it. It's kind of a sarcastic tone to it. Right. And another thing you'll come across a lot here is slagging. Uh, otherwise known as banter. Right. Uh, if somebody's having banter with you or slagging you, right, uh, it means they actually like you. You will know the difference by the tone of voice if somebody's has a problem with you or if they're just slagging you, right? Like it's something that we do all the time, right? Uh, right, what else? I'm trying to think of things that people have given out to me, but well, have told me when they were giving out about people coming over driving, right? The odds of getting an automatic car over here if you hire one <laughs> are very slim because over here manual cars are the norm not automatics right uh, this is another Dublin specific one there's a place in Dublin called Temple Bar and if you go there it's a real tourist place right. If you go there, you will get fleeced. You'll pay a fortune for whatever you're at over there. It's mostly pubs and nightclubs, but you will pay an absolute fortune. And you won't find real dubs up there, because they don't go. Uh, so, if you want to experience it for a couple of hours, for a light, Nice spot, but it is very, very expensive. South of Ireland, I don't think of it. Right. Uh, right. Now, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And we get an awful lot of tourists over for St. Patrick's Day. If you really want to get Irish people annoyed with you very quickly, call it Patty's Day. Thanks. St. Patrick's Day or Paddy's Day with two D's, not two T's. It's completely acceptable. Paddy's Day just annoys Irish people. One of the best comebacks I ever heard to it was uh, somebody overheard some tourists saying that they were over for St. Paddy's Day. And the comeback was do they think our patron saint is Ronald McDonald? With his burger patties. Yeah. It is Paddy's Day or St. Patrick's Day, not Paddy's Day. And this one actually comes out of a movie. Nobody in this country says top of the morning to you. Nobody actually says that. It came out of a movie. Pretty good movie actually. Now if you're over here to see about uh, The Quiet Man, which is the movie I came out of, right? The two places you need to go are Dingle, which is where it was filmed, where a lot of it, where a lot of it was filmed, and there's a small little village called Glengariff in Cork. 
And that is where Maureen O'Hara had her house. Right. Now, I know that the buggy that was used in the movie used to be down there. I don't know if it still is or not. But uh, if you're into the movie and you want to see some stuff, there are the two places you want to go and see. So I'll continue on with the shark cigarette. I'm just cleaning it off now. And uh, so if you have any questions that you would like to get answered in this section, just drop them in the comments below. Or torn or something about Ireland or whatever. And if this section catches on, we keep it in the videos. And as the Arctic regime done, really does do a gorgeous job on stuff. Right, I will let that cool down and then I'll wax it. Oh, I keep getting my ass still. I keep getting asked about my finishing routine. Right, I was only asked about it there last week. Right, I will put a link to the video I did in it. I got asked so many questions about this, I did a video on it. Right, so what I'll do is I'll put a link to that video up there <coughs> and in the description where I go through the full, where I go through my full finishing routine. Right, and uh, that might help everybody out. Right, so I'll just finish this. Put the wax on, and I'll be back then. Right, just buffing the wax off. Was that, that last bit was just a bit, of, a bit of crack, just to get that section kicked off. Mm. Now the one thing you got to understand about coming to Ireland is. People's inflection in their voice means an awful lot over here. So there we have the outside. Boom. This is a nice piece of wood. nice colours in there. Right then, we flip this over and uh, we load the inside. I'm gonna be back in a sec. Right then, we flipped over. The first thing I'm gonna do is face it off. back on because as I said this piece of wood is extremely dusty Oi, the mask is back on
appliances. So if we do want this, I think I want the salt. Right there. And we speed up from the preferred speed, which is about 800. And we just hold off. Right then, so we've funneled it. This happens sometimes, right? And as you know, I made a promise when I started this channel that if something went wrong, I would still show it because I think it's important, especially for new toners, to know that stuff does go wrong. Right, so I guess uh, next week's video is going to be how to fix a funnel. But uh, if this does happen to you when you get to this stage, don't get angry and hit the thing. Or the one thing you must not do is take it off until because you prepped to do. Right? So what I have to do with the prep this is I have to get rid of the rest of that without ripping it out. I actually have to cut it out because I want a smooth circle there. So I really want to check everything here. Slow the load right down. Right now, all I want to do is cut that off like that. Right, I don't want to break it because breaking it will just it will give me a very raggedy edge there. Right, so I just wanted to cut it off. Wasn't that holding it? Now, as I said, next week's video is going to be how to fix this, obviously. Or a put it this way it's going to be a way of fixing it right now what i'm going to do now is i will take that off and actually it's easier if i actually show you this where did i put the there it's right it's easier if i actually show you this right now if you look on the back here i have a perfect circle there right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sand that down until that circle is perfect again and then I can go about repairing it so that's what next week's video is going to be is about repairing this right. as I said it happens and uh, it happens to us all anybody who says they don't funnel stuff I would say is not telling the truth everybody has a funnel every now and again same as everybody has a catch every now and again right so we leave this one there and uh i'll be back next week to go about how i fix it so i'll see you in the next one